Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. What we're going to be doing today is one of our first SPA demos. Now, um, again, single page applications are one way that we can make the user feel like their web application is flying when they visit it. Everything is pretty much already loaded. Um, and whatever we don't have, we're going to bring in with Ajax calls and things like that to kind of fill out information as we need. Think of, again, something like Twitter or Facebook or any of these social media apps where you can just scroll forever and the page magically adds content at the bottom. Um, a simpler example is what we're going to be doing today where basically we have a, a single page application. There's nothing loading in. So basically it's already loaded at the first request and response interaction. We're just kind of using browser routing to go between page to page. Now the way we're handling this in React is that we're basically going to conditionally render our components based on whatever link is clicked. Now, there is nothing stopping you from using something like JavaScript or jQuery to just hide and unhide elements. We're basically doing the same thing, but we're kind of getting a taste of how a React Router works. Now, you might be wondering at this point, why is this page full of errors being shown to me while he's talking um, about what we're going to be doing today? And the reason for that's very simple. I wanted to highlight something that you're probably going to run into if you start searching for tutorials on the web for how to do this. And you're going to start the tutorial because maybe you want to try something different than what I'm showing you, and it's not going to work. It's going to get horribly broken. And at some point, you know, you're going to be doing a tutorial, life is good, and then you see a, a blank white page and hopefully you think to pop open the console and oh crap, look at all these errors. Now these ones here means the server is dead, I killed it. But you might start seeing things like a route is only ever meant to be used as a child of routes. And that's because React Router, the package we're going to be using, has been updated significantly. So version 5 for the longest, well, however long version 5 was active for, um, had a completely different API under the hood. Version 6 has significantly changed things. And this is the result of me trying out a demo to show you all. And it's just not working because I didn't notice that it was for an out-of-date version of React Router. So be very careful if you're looking for internet resources. Make sure it's the latest and greatest version. Honestly, that applies to any module that you use. But what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be following along with this free CodeCamp article. Now, this is a delightful website if you've never heard of it. There are a lot of great tutorials up there. But all we're really going to be doing is a pretty basic single page application. So I'm going to move this off screen. We're going to close this. See down here that I'm still installing the React application. Um, I did an NPX create React app, and that's all I've done so far. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to go ahead and install React Router once this is done. Um, we are going to pretty much uh, change everything in index.js and index.html. We'll add some extra components. So I thought this would be done while I was kind of outlining the assignment. So I'll be back in a second once this finishes up. All right. Well, I'm going to, I don't know what's going on with my computer today. I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again with how much I've been complaining. I think it's time for a, uh, a, a wipe and a reinstall, honestly, once the semester's over, though. Um, that took like 15 minutes to make a React application. And when I did it this morning, it took about two minutes. It's a day. All right, so we have our default application here. While things are kind of sitting, I'm going to go ahead and install the React Router DOM package. So npm i React Router DOM. We'll go at 6 as well, just to ensure. It should just pick up version 6, but let's at least follow the tutorial here. Um, the at is basically a way to specify version number if you are not aware. could also have used yarn if we wanted. Now, I've got index.js open. Um, we should see just for funsies or my package. So here's our React DOM. Here's our scripts. And then we should have 
Do, 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 do. Oh, it didn't install to the package manager. That's right. <laughs> um, sorry, I made a mistake, and I want to show you my mistake. So I installed React Writer DOM to my temp directory. I didn't do the smart thing of going into my uh, project and then installing it. Let's try that again. And let's watch in real time as our package.json magically updates, hopefully. Hey, there it is. <laughs> good. Um, I'm leaving that in, by the way. And it's good for you to see my mistakes, because hopefully then you don't make them. All right, so we have our React router package. Now let's go ahead and update index.js. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of everything in here, just I'm going to run npm start just so that this kind of kicks off while I'm coding. Delete everything from in here. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in just the basics that I need because I don't need the web reporting. I don't need any of that. Um, so we're importing React, importing React DOM, importing our style sheets, uh, importing our application. So this should all pretty much have been there. And the difference is, you know, that popped up off screen. So let's bring that over here. Go back to our code. So we're importing this browser router from React Router DOM. And then we now have a render <clears throat> of our browser router. We're going to render the app component, which again, really the only difference here is this browser router has been inserted. If I undo everything, you see here is my uh, app here. We're importing strict mode, which we can uh, we could have left in, but we're just going to ignore it for now to follow the tutorial a little bit better. All right, now what we have to do is we have to create some extra components. So I'm going to add in a home, about, and contact page. Now let's do this quickly. So home.js, we're going to add in about.js and contact.js. All right, so home is going to be pretty straightforward something like that and our about component is going to be um, along these lines and I think we needed react here Not sure why that was missing and then our contact component Looks like there's some typos in this uh, this guide, so be a little bit careful here. And add in some icons because I feel like it's going to complain otherwise. But we have some basic stuff here. Let's go ahead and add in some bacon text because the basic forum text is boring. And I couldn't remember what that lovely one is from the Discord chat where it was um, philosophic ramblings. <laughs> All right, so. Home page, about page, contact page. We'll just kind of leave that as is. And we go to our page or our, uh, our development site here. That's still our basic thing. We haven't done anything with the routing yet. So back to our app page. So here we see our kind of basic application. We are now going to get rid of everything inside of our div for our class name. Um, we could just return hi, and we should now see hi. There we go. It's like, uh, where is it? It's very tiny. Um, okay, so we have that, and we pop back over here. Now we need to add in our routing stuff. So get rid of the logo. Let's import routes route from the React router DOM. So we need those bits. We also are going to need our components that we are going to want to import, All right? So import home from dot slash home. We've uh, copy this. So let's replace home with about. Let's replace home with contact. Okay, a little Vim trickery there, if you're not aware. Uh, basically just import these components and now we need to tell our app component to have some conditional routing. 
So in here, routes, and we're going to say route path equals slash. So this is going to be your home page. And the element we're returning is home. And so close that off. And this is uppercase. Give it some spacing just for effect. Not really necessary, but there we go. So we're going to add a route for our home page, for our about page, and our contact page. So I'm just type this uh, about and contact. And what React Router is going to do is we are going to render these elements if I click a link for them. Okay. So this is about and this is contact. Should set the path correctly. All right. Everything else stays the same. After this, we need to add some links in. So again, we imported as home was not found in home. Did I screw something up here? I probably did. Home, about, contact. OK. Did I import these wrong? I think I imported them wrong. There we go. OK. What's this? Oh, a lot of errors. Tag home is unrecognized in this browser. Did I lowercase something? I feel like I lowercase something. Mm -hmm. Everything's uppercase. Uh... Well, we will keep pushing on. Maybe I need to rebuild it. That's all fine. Do refresh. OK. Um, I did a hard refresh, and all my errors went away. Must have just been my typo from before, and it was like auto billing. All righty. So we have our routes. That is good. Here is our home page, which we would visit when we see this. That's good. Okie dokie, now let's add some navigation. So, make this touch smaller and back to our code here. So, let's go ahead and add in our linkage. So, in our home page here, let's add in a link from React Router DOM. Okay, and this is our home page. Here we have some text. Let's add in some links. Link to, e to equals about. Click me to see the about page. Let's do the same thing for contact. It'd probably be better to put this in a header or something of that nature. Alrighty, and. This is the About page. This is the Contact page. Good. Let's be a little bit smarter about this. Let's get this out of Home. Let's go to our App page. All right, so now let's have a div. Doesn't need a class name. Let's put our links in here. Let's add in our slash. Let's say Home About. Contact, add a separator, separator, get link out of here, put it in app. Why don't you like that? One parent, oh, whoops. Okay, sorry, I forgot to enclose it in one div. Alrighty, here are our links, home, about, contact. Look at that, it works like a charm. We even went above and beyond. Okay, um, what did I do there at the very end? The tutorial that we are following for this one, again, just a basic single page app. It had all the links in home, and that kind of is annoying for navigation. So I just made it a part of our main application here, and I added a slash to our, our home page. And 
put the links for the other ones. Now, again, we are not refreshing our page every time this happens. You see it's happening very, very quickly. There's no loads going on. Let's actually, for funsies, watch our network tab here. All right, so we see everything is loaded in. I click about. We don't see any new network calls happening here, right? So everything is loaded in memory. Now, nothing earth shattering here from a canonical web development perspective. This could just be a JavaScript. I click this, hide the um, main content, show the about page content, right? There is nothing tricky here, but we're using React Router and the idea would be that we could extrapolate this to something much more powerful. And let's say that I add in an orders page. I click orders and it gives me the top 10 orders. And then maybe I scroll down or I click more. It just kind of appends the next 10 orders to the bottom with an Ajax call, kind of like we looked at when we were pulling in the dad joke references. Okay, that is enough for this basic intro to SPA. We'll do some more complicated ones in the very near future. For you, probably minutes away for me. Or maybe after after class. Okay, so hope you all have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.